Hello friends, so we are going to solve another problem and this is uh, related to the topic of fundamental theorem of arithmetic and this is also uh, borrowed from NCRT book. So this is part of uh, your board exam preparation. So the question says prove that there is no natural number n, no natural number n for which 4 to the power n ends with the digit 0. That means you can't find any natural number n when uh, which when raised to the power uh, on 4 ends with digit 0. So now we know anything which ends with this 0 must be divisible by 5. So let's say if you have 10, so we know that it is 2 into 5. If it is 30, then we know that this is uh, 6 into 5 or 2 into 3 into 5. So one um factor which must be there if there is a number which ends with 0 is 5 so 5 must be there in the as a factor of that particular number now let us take up 4 to the power n so 4 to the power n can be written as 2 to the power 2 to the power n because 4 is 2 square which is nothing but 2 to the power 2n okay so any number let's say this this number 4 to the power n let's say a is equal to 4 to the power n so hence now we can say a is equal to 2 to the power 2n so there is only one prime factor so only one prime factor is there one prime factor 2 is there is there yeah for for 2 to the power 2n Okay, so uh, there is no, you know, uh, why is there no 5 then? By fundamental theorem of arithmetic, arithmetic, we know that, we know that any, any composite number, any composite number will have any composite number, any composite number will have unique prime factorization unique prime factorization prime factorization unique prime factorization what does i what does it mean it means that uh, if you have expressed any composite number in terms of its prime factor you cannot really find anything beyond that so all the prime factors will be ex will be there in that expression right so here here we say that the only prime factor available is 2 there is no 5 in it so there is no chance that the you know uh, this number would be divisible by 5 so if this div is this num this number doesn't carry any prime factor uh, as 5 then there is no possibility of having 0 at its units place so that is what the proof would look like and uh, this is a, a very good application of fundamental theorem of arithmetic see you in the next problem solving video thanks a lot